All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Thursday, and what a week it's been so far here in the cave. We had a lot of uh, greatest hits last week, and this week we've had three bands. Maybe a lot of you never heard before, three artists, right? But we are doing a 180 today, and we're talking about a band that perhaps you've heard of, or am I continuing the streak. This band is called Rapid Eye Movement for those people who are just their select few fans. They get to call them R.E.M. for short as a nickname. If you've ever heard of them, we're not going to go over their history. We've done that already. I think we've done two episodes about R.E.M. here in the cave already. Uh, so all you need to know is they're from Athens, Georgia, right? College, radio, darlings for years. And they start getting a little more popular. They put out their sixth record, Green. That made them a little more accessible. He started experimenting with different kinds of music, a little bit of folk and classical mixed in with there. And then March 12th, 1991, they dropped their seventh album, Out of Time, which would just catapult them into the music stratosphere globally. This record was a monster. Uh, it was it sold like 20 million copies, 5 million in the United States, number one in the U.S., number one in the U.K. Uh, over two years in the charts in the United States, almost uh, over three years in the charts in the U.K. Uh, this was just what what a record this is. Now, uh, I think we all remember when this record came out, and uh, it, it is one of my favorite records albums of all time. Uh, it won three Grammys in 92. I mean, we could go on and on about how big this record was. Uh, and I think that some of you might be surprised at what I have to say about this record, but maybe you're not. So let's go down and talk about some of the songs on here. Now, what was the song that launched them the most? It was Losing My Religion, their biggest hit ever. Uh, I have a love-hate relationship with this song. I get why people loved it. I did love this song at first, but boy, uh, it got a lot of airplay, so I can't say that it's even in my top 10, maybe not even in my top 20 REM songs. Uh, so this one was everywhere, the video was everywhere. I get why people like it. Uh, but this particular album it deserves looking at again for you people. If you have not listened to the whole thing in a while or you've never listened to the whole thing, I suggest you do that today, front to back because it's in the songs that you've probably never heard before where you see why I consider this album to be probably their best, although Murmur is considered their best by all the critics and fans, and Murmur is listed as one of the most influential albums of all time, and I do understand that. I listened to Murmur this week, uh, and, I, and uh, I can see where that argument is made. But if you, for me, if you took out just two songs off this record, the rest are spot on. Uh, those two songs we'll talk about. I mean, Losing My Religion, again, that is, uh, that's just, it was played a lot, but I do like that song. So, first song, radio song, a little different for them. Guest vocal by KRS-One, the rapper. Uh, next song, Losing My Religion. Now we're getting into songs you need to listen to. Low, love it. Near Wild Heaven, also love it. Endgame, awesome. All right, next up, Shiny Happy People. Maybe one of the worst R.E.M. songs in history. I don't know. I'm just going out on a limb there. I get, again, it was hugely popular. I'm a huge B-52s fan. Guest vocals by Kate Pearson of the B-52s. Uh, I just, uh, maybe it was overplayed. I don't know. I mean, I just didn't, it was just not a, a fan for me. Anyway, then we move into more songs you need to hear. I mean, this stuff is so good. I, it's going to be hard for me to pick a song of the day. You got Belong, Half a World Away, Texarkana, Country Feedback, and Me and Honey. That's what we're talking about, those songs. I mean, you need to listen to these songs today. You need to hear Low, Near Wild Heaven, Endgame, Belong, Half a World Away, Tex Arcana, Country Feedback, and Me and Honey. This stuff is awesome. Uh, who remembers when this record came out? Did you listen to the whole thing like I did? Are you guys fans of this record? Uh, I know I am a huge, huge fan, can you tell? Uh, for me, Country Feedback, I love Country Feedback, uh, and it is a little bit of a country song from R.E.M., uh, and that is near the top for me when I was thinking about Song of the Day for today, but I had to listen to it over again, and I listened to the album again, I, I listened to this quite a bit, 
And for me, I'm gonna pick Half a World Away for Song of the Day today. If you don't know that song, at least play that one, give it a listen, tell me what you think. But I wanna hear what you have to say about R.E.M. and their seventh record. Boy, this is good stuff. Uh, and I can't wait to hear what you have to say. So, enjoy R.E.M. today. You got out of time, you got plenty of time. Listen to the whole thing, beginning to end. That's your mission, should you choose to accept it. All right, tomorrow, Octane Friday, and we roll into the weekend. So, have a great day, as usual. Catch on the flip side.